Thinking of doing your HGV license? Or you've just passed your HGV license? Not sure on driver's hours? Not sure on working time? Not sure how you hitch up to a trailer? Not sure how you strap a load? Then why not check out the new essential trucker's handbook? Crack a little book, jam packed with information, lots and lots of information on it. Nice handy size to carry around. I keep it in my shelf up the top there, so if I need it, I'll just refer to it. It's got so much information in it, guys. Uh, link will be in the description. Take a look, check it out, enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. A very good morning everyone. How the devil is everyone? Hope you're all well. It's Tuesday. Uh, believe it or not, it's 10 past 8 in the morning. Just seen a little time lapse of me leaving uh, Ross uh, truck stop from uh, last night. Well, from this morning, stopped there last night. Um, had a pretty good day yesterday. Uh, went up to uh, Middlewich and over the workshop to reload with what I've got on at the moment. Uh, got a load of slate on and some sleepers. Uh, what a place that was to get to. I'm hoping you can see me okay, because uh, it's uh, still not uh, brilliantly light at the moment. Um, and I'm going to a, uh, looks like a, some sort of merchants, uh, but it's on a farm. And it doesn't look the best to get into, I've got to be honest. Uh, spoken to uh, the guys at the place, just rung them, and they told me the best way in. So, uh, fingers crossed, but I've got to pull in, uh, once I get into a lane, apparently I've got to turn left into a lane where it says unsuitable for large vehicles. Doesn't sound good, does it? Um, and uh, go towards RP Williams, and apparently there's a, like a lay-by there. Um, they want me to pull into there for the minute because they just had an attic in and they want to clear the grounds off before I go in which is fair comment so that's what I am going to do as long as I don't mess up in there because I've had a look on Google Maps and the lanes look very tight and uh, he says to pull past the gate and reverse in when uh, when I get there uh, which to me sounds like a blindside reverse uh, we'll see We'll see when I get there, not far from there now. Um, firstly, well, firstly, secondly, um, thank you everyone 
that has donated so far to our drag and drop abseil. Um, I have started um, exercising, so hopefully I can uh, lose a little bit of weight. Uh, say the abseil is on the 28th of February, so I've got about six weeks before I need to, uh, you know, well, I've got six weeks to lose weight basically, so should be okay. Hopefully I can, I can get the couple of pounds off and a bit more if I can. Um, but yeah, I checked yesterday and we were up to 984 pound. Uh, I haven't checked this morning. I don't know what it's on at the moment. I will check after and let you know. But thank you guys. It is so much appreciated. It, it's unbelievable. Um, the, it's a good cause. It's uh, 10 of us cancer care. Um, there's the yard there. That's what I've got to go to. In there. You can see they're, uh, they're loading one of their own lorries by the look of it. So uh, I've just got to get to it via the lanes. Um, yeah, so links in the description. Um, obviously, I'm going to push this now at the end of February. I mean, if COVID does come into play and, and it gets cancelled, we will be doing it. We will be doing it at some point. So uh, don't get disheartened if we don't do it on the 28th. We will be doing it at some point. Uh, hopefully, we can do it on the 28th. COVID provisions provided, like, you know, whatever. So hopefully, uh, it'll go ahead on the 28th. But if it doesn't, then we will be doing it at some point so don't worry about that um, uh, but some of the donations I mean uh, I've had 50 pound uh, donation from Stu Mace Stu you and Kate you're amazing guys thank you very much um, Nessa Trucker she's donated 20 pound so Nessa thank you very much and if you haven't watched Nessa's uh, videos go and check her out um, cracking that young lady uh, she put some nice videos together so go and check out Nessa thank you Nessa that was uh, 20 pound much appreciated um, there are a few other ones there that are uh, a bit larger so you know who you are thank you guys uh, who sat nav is actually taking me where they told me to go I'm gonna take the next left now which is a, a small lane apparently and I gotta get all the way back over towards the motorway through lanes uh, there we go. <laughs> Unsuitable for heavy HGVs. Oh, joy! Apparently they have about two or three wagons in a day in you, so... And this is telling me to go right now for the... Ah, that's for the postcode. Ooh. Is a little tight there. I have to be honest, these lanes don't look the best. Oh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, uh, getting back to it. Uh, link is in the description, guys. Please, 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 if you can. We'd like to raise as much as possible. Um, yeah, it's for cracking cause, so thanks guys. I'm looking forward to doing it. I'm hoping I can get the weight off. Um, the, I think it was about a four and a half mile walk on Sunday. Um, I did, uh, went out for a one, stopped at Ross last night, went for a walk from Ross last night. To, I think it was about two kilometers. I know it's not a great deal, but there's no much that you can walk in Ross, so... Um, you see the mirrors, I got inches either side of this lane. Blimey. He says there's a... A lay-by somewhere. And I got to pull into because it looks like they were... Uh, loading their own vehicle when I went past just now. Take it over a little bit for that sign. Apparently when I get to the bottom of here, it will say RP Williams to the left. A 
luckily I've got a low trailer on today. I've got a 13 foot 9 trailer on. I think if I had a 15.7 on or a 15 footer, yeah, I'd be taking some trees down, I think. Ooh, this is not out. This is very narrow. It doesn't help when you're heavy either. Oof, that was close. One thing I don't want to do is get caught in the ruts on the corner, on the edges, because it's going to be really, really soft. There we are, Happy Williams Jones, Stone Merchants, to the left. Wow, this is very, very narrow. Have your wits about you on this one. This is literally just about the width of the truck. I have inches either side. going through puddles in lanes mainly because there could be a huge pot all under there and I can't see it <clears throat> departure system malfunction mm. okay Just a bit of muck on something off now. Yeah, if I had a high trailer on, I think I'd be hitting that branch. Know where this lay-by is. it there. You can call that a lay-by and say that was a passing area.
There's RP down there. That looks like a bigger sort of lay bias thing down by there. Uh, I can see RP in the distance there. Yeah, that's the one. That'll be it. He said he'd give me a ring when he's uh, when they're ready for me to come in. That's literally just in front there is the slip road off the M4 for the Pencoy turn off. Ah, right, so just a case now of waiting uh, for them to give me a call. Um, I've changed my microphone again because uh, the one I bought last week and used on last week's vlog um, was only a mono mic, so it was only coming out through one speaker. So for it to come through two, I literally had to uh, put it on, the, put the settings on the surround system or surround sound. So it would come out of both speakers because um, I always uh, edit with headphones on and uh, yeah it was a bit strange so I had to put on the surround so it would come out of two so if it did sound a bit strange that's probably why. So I bought another mic like I had previous to that one and what I'm going to do is not put it in my pocket because I've still got the camera there. Um, so hopefully I won't damage the wire because I think that's what the problem is, is when I'm put, putting it in and out of my pocket all the time. I'm damaging the wire on it so fingers crossed there we are right so uh, waiting for a phone call uh, this has been almost a 15 minute clip now so it's a bit long for a first clip but uh, there we are right I will uh, come back to you very shortly toodles <clears throat> right all done now, this is uh, I'm not gonna put my belt on yet because I got to do a slight maneuver this is why I put the camera up on the mirror <clears throat> I move across here And as you can see, well, you won't be able to see because I've got the front camera on, but uh, it's a turn in here that I'm not in a million years going to make. So I've got to turn around in the yard. So I'm going to get as far over to the left or to the right now as I can. back of the trailer at the right angle. So I'm going to cut over too far. I've got loads of debris and rubble on my left. Start to make the turn like here. And hopefully we've got lots of Great big huge boulders to my left. some bricks or slates on my left overcompensate which it's doing yeah, I'm gonna have to straighten up a bit 
I can do that now, I think. There we go. I hate that my reverse beep is not working at the moment because it's full of muck. It'll work better once the uh, truck's out of wash. Should be enough. Okay, let's take you down off there. Hello. Put you back in the window. There we go. Okay. Just gonna get out of here now. Window up. Wide as I can. Watch that cow on my left. This is tight. This is very tight. So let's see my wheels are on the road. Brushing up against the hedge, but wheels are still on the road. All right, let's me out. I think he was there to see if I damaged anything. <laughs> ah, right, it's now 10 o'clock, just after. That's two hours I've been here. I had to wait, uh, it's about 20 minutes I had to wait in the lay-by. And, uh, take all the straps off, roll them up, while well, they start tipping, then they stopped for a bit because they were dealing with a customer. I think they deliver, um, they supply all the farms around the area, I would think. That's what it seems like, anyway. I think I now, now know how Scott feels in all the farms he goes to. Blimey. Not the best. And some of the ones he goes to is worse than this one. So I feel your pain, Scotty Bike. I most certainly do. Don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm going to give him a ring. No, I'm going to be heading back towards the yard, I would think. So uh, once I finish recording this clip, I'll give him a ring as I'm heading back and find out what I'm doing. But I think the, uh, I have the trailer back, take the trailer back to the yard because the bed needs a good wash off. It's, uh, it's full of mud and muck from the site yesterday. Obviously everything has fallen off the pallet is now all over the bed. I just hope and pray now I don't come across anything coming the other way. There is literally no room for error here. See on the camera, it might look nice and wide. I can guarantee you it ain't. And just gonna take my time. Now 
narrow a bit. It'll be fun, there's a bend up here as well. Oh, while I'm doing this as well, I um, need to mention uh, a fellow, another fellow vlogger, but he's not a UK vlogger, he's a, he's a Yorkshireman, but he drives out in the good old US of A. I think he's based in the, on the west coast of, uh, of America. Um, I've watched quite a few of his vlogs now, Ned Kelly put me on to him, so thanks for that Ned. And uh, the wee Yorkshireman trucker, uh, name of Vernon. He's really, really good, and uh, he covers quite a bit. And some of the uh, the conditions he's got to drive in, well, shall we say it's you know a little bit snowy. You can drive from one end and then go down towards California and everything else. So it could be minus nine, minus ten when he starts off, and by the time he gets close to his uh, his tip, which could be like three thousand miles away, uh, he's basking in 28, 29 degrees. So it's, uh, it's, it's very interesting to see, to watch um, the changes uh, of his surroundings and, and he's a really good vlogger, fair play to him. Um, he's quite new to it, um, I think he's already got about six and a half thousand subs. Um, so if you haven't heard of the wee Yorkshireman trucker, go and check his channel out. Tell him I sent you over, I told him I would. And uh, a bit tight here. Yeah. Um, yeah, go check his channel out. He's a good bloke. Uh, there's the office. Bear with me. Hello. Hey, Dave. How are you doing? I'm all right, mate. Once I get out of this place, it's a flipping nightmare. Are you empty, yeah? I'm empty now, yeah. Just coming out of there now, mate. All right, can you head straight towards uh, Catnick XPO down in Astrid? Yeah. And um, pick up uh, the Bradford for me, please, bud. Pick up. It's uh, do, do Direct Build Supplies. Direct Build pick, Supplies pick, Bradford, pick, yeah. Pick him up, bring him back to me, man. Yep, um, the bed's quite dirty. Will that be all right? It's got loads of... Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's only um, profiles, but that'll be all right. Yep, yeah, all right, mate, no worries. Yeah. All right, mate. All right, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Cheers, Dave. And that's our Dave. Obviously found something quite funny. Almost out. I had two. I crossed over two bridges, didn't I? Coming in. So this is the first one, which is very, very narrow. Or as Luke would say, a bit tight here. And this is very tight. I got very little margin of area. Especially with a little dog leg right. Uh, watch your back here trailer. Right, that's the first one done.
kind of it. Wouldn't mind the waiting behind. But it's all good. A little bit wide over here, but then it narrows right down again. Cast a 13 minute clip again. So that's the first two clips, it's going to be over half hour. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be a short vlog. Not going to do much else, I don't think. In this one, maybe? Oh, I don't know. We see. <laughs> Just nice for you guys to see when you get to places like this what it's like, basically. I think you've got a 45 foot vehicle in very narrow lanes like this. See why it says unsuitable for heavy goods. But when you got no choice, you got no choice. Narrow bridge. Take it a bit wider here. Just so we can get the trail around. It's a little bit wider. It's just the trailer you gotta watch here now. Trees. There you go. And we're out. Okay, you're gonna lift that up now. Okay, from the right. And he's flashing me from the left. Very kind of him. Let me indicate this on now to thank him. Very kind of him. Saves me waiting in the middle of the road. Right. Lights. Camera. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Funny 30 seconds. Still bounce now. Engine brake on. So we're down. You never know when these lights are going to change. See what I mean? There we go. Right, well, I'm gonna crack on. I'm gonna get over to Westrid now. Go and pick up this load, take it back to the yard, and then see what I'm doing. So I will uh, come back to you guys very shortly. Catch in a bit. Toodles. Very good morning, all. It's now the next day, and it is 20 to 11. Um, yesterday, Basically went back to the yard, did a couple of local shunts, um, and then collected a load then for Leicester this morning, which I uh, got to at uh, quarter to eight. Stopped at uh, Leicester Forest Services last night, and uh, woke up this morning to a, a hacked account. My God, I had messages galore, saying what's going on, what's, what, what's all this vile stuff on your Facebook? I'm thinking, oh my God, what's going on? So, uh, yeah, I couldn't get into it. Um, it was all shut down and logged off, and so I thought, oh god. So luckily, I got back into it with my password, changed my passwords over, removed everything, and then uh, if you follow me on social media, you would have seen this morning that I've put up uh, 
explaining that I was hacked and, and everything else. So please guys, be extra careful with your accounts. It's my fault really, I should have uh, kept changing passwords and I kept, I've had the same password since the day I started, which was like 15 years ago on Facebook. So uh, yeah, so yeah, just be careful guys. Keep rotating your passwords and try not to get hacked. It's not nice. Uh, right, well, I'm in Leicester at the moment. Just loaded. Um, place, I've been here before, um, into trading, and I collected for Bailey's Ross last time. Uh, but this time I've collected for Bailey's in Ledbury, which is what I'm off to. So, uh, couldn't just get there for about one o'clock. I'm not due there till three, but I am going to need a break on the way down. So, uh, yeah, I'll have a, a little break on the way down. Flipping window. There we are. And uh, yeah, <laughs> go from there, really. Turn left, then turn left. Yeah, nice and wide. There we go. Turn left. Yeah, so I got 26 pallets on, whole strap down. And. Uh, on my way to Ledbury. I had a message on YouTube this morning as well. <laughs> Don't know who he is, but just a guy saying, God, I find this guy boring already. So I just left a message back. Don't watch. You don't like me? Don't watch me. Simple as that. I know I'm not everyone's cup of tea. So if I'm not everyone's cup of tea, don't bother watching. Doesn't really bother me here or there. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that do like watching what I do, so I just concentrate on them. All right, gotta get out of Leicester now. Oh, yes, this will lead back down to the M1 now and uh, and then straight down then. I don't know where I'm going to stop yet. I might stop at um, Hopwood Park, junction 2 of the M42. Probably stop there for a half hour. Because by the time I get there, I probably want to use the facilities. And we go from there then. Oh, uh, what I think about as well, the um, Tenevis Cancer um, Charity Fund is over a thousand pound now. So thank you guys. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, far more than we were expecting. We were hoping to beat the 400, but we've certainly surpassed the 400 now. So um, links in the description. Uh, I know I mentioned it yesterday. Uh, but I am going to keep pushing this now till we do it. As I said yesterday, if, uh, if it does work out that we can't do it on the 28th, don't worry, have no fear, we will be doing it. And uh, I will also do my best to record it. Um, whether I get someone to help me with the recordings or whatever else, um, see what we can do. Um, see if I can have a camera stuck on my helmet. I'm sure I'm going to be wearing a helmet. And uh, yeah, it should be a good day. So we'll be just covering the uh, the abseil itself. It'll cover the whole team, you know, the whole team arriving and a bit of chit chat and yeah, be nice. Something nice to record. All right, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to. Uh, Make my way down to Ledbury. I'll probably talk to you just before I get there. And I might be it again then for today and I'll do something else tomorrow. So what I might do is just do a couple of sections uh, over the whole week and uh, hopefully the video won't be too long now. 
but I'm sure it will be because uh, I know the first two clips yesterday were over a half hour. So maybe I'll do a two part or I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I'm going to crack on and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Toodles. Hello. Right, collected at Leicester and I'm about a mile and a quarter away from where I'm going. Army Yard Road, trade the state, Lower Road. Remember the name of the road I want now. Uh, Linden Business Park. Let's see if I can find this one, is it? I need to tighten that up. Right. Lower Road, Bromyard, Trading Estates. Hmm. They're not the ones I want, but I should be close. I think I've ever been into Lenbury. I've got to be honest. I think it's the first time for me. Come off at uh, Junction 2 on the M50. And I'll just follow it down. Alright, so. Right here. It says Lower Road Trading Estate. Please, cash and carry, that's the one I'm after. Uh, is that a car park or does that go into there? Can't see. Yeah. That's the one I want. got trucks in that here, so we will have a butcher's now. Right, there's no one in that truck there, so let's see what's going on here. It doesn't look like they're doing anything with it either. What time is it? Two o'clock, just gone. Hmm. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Come back to it a bit. Toodles. Hey guys. Right, as you know, I've delivered the Baileys. And uh, Mr. Bailey himself is now doing a video over there. As you can see. Uh, he does uh, videos on uh, Facebook. Um, but uh, that's how he sells most of his stuff. He, uh, he's got this... Um, got this uh, warehouse here he's got one down in Ross and uh, he does sell in bulk and he also sells singularly and at the moment he's making his video for uh, his Facebook page off, uh, off of my wagon at the moment so yeah I don't know what he sells how much he sells everything for it's getting a bit wet there I don't know how much he sells everything for but uh, it's actually yeah. So what he's recording now will be up on Facebook sometime today or tomorrow, I think. So if, uh, you have a look, Bailey's Wholesale, and uh, you'll probably get a nice little bargain off him. Anyway, that's it. 
1099 6 by 30 mil. <laughs> so as you can see there, just making this little video there. So. <laughs> it is chilled, it's bloody freezing on the back of that wagon. Oh, Fair play to it. Apparently he does sell quite a bit and he had like 10.5 billion views on Facebook last year on his videos. So. Yeah, so keep an eye out for it. Bailey's Wholesale. Have a look on Facebook. And uh, yeah, go check out their prices for their uh, for their beers and their wines and everything else. And, uh, and give it a go. And this is not sponsored by Bailey's. It's just, he said, if I want to do a piece outside you, that's what I'm going to do. So that's the load. And at the moment he's, uh, I don't know whether he's finished uh, recording at the moment, but a bit windy out just. Sorry, guys. finished now so yeah so you're gonna be offloading me now and uh, I'll be away to go then I think I'm going back to the yard from here I do believe and uh, see what's going on from there then so I will catch you guys in a bit doodles greetings afternoon how the devil is everyone now Thursday afternoon uh, I'm on my way up to Gargrave again I'm just coming to Skipton um, which is where I was last week when it started snowing. <laughs> uh, it's completely different up here today. It's uh, it's a lot better. It's all cleared up. So it's all good in the hood. Um, I can't remember when I last spoke to you now. No, it was yesterday. Uh, where was I? Where was I? Where was I? I think it was on my way back. Uh, I tipped in Ladbury. I'm not sure whether I spoke to you after Ladbury. So I, I tipped in Ladbury, came back to the yard empty, and I got told then that I was doing this one this morning. So I stopped in the yard last night, um, didn't go home. Uh, bit of a sore subject that one at the moment, but I might go into that one in another video. Um, Yeah, got back to the yard, got told I was doing this one, uh, told it was going to be ready at 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, so, go run up solo, seven, uh, to get into thermo for 7. And, uh, yeah, got in there at 5 to 7, wasn't ready. Uh, night guy uh, went on mill, so the trailer wasn't loaded, so I actually got out of there about 5 to 8. Um, run up. I've just had a break at uh, Tranock Richard Services. Uh, just about made it. Got there on four hours and 28 minutes driving. Skinning me teeth job. But I got, I got there. Um, and I've now got about 32 minutes, about 14 miles uh, before I get into Gargrave. So it's not too bad. And this week's vlog is slightly different. As in I'm doing segments of each day really uh, rather than just doing like a two day I've done so far I think I've done since Tuesday haven't I so uh, see how this turns out let me know what you think of it uh, if you like it the the way I normally do it then let me know uh, if you like it this way let me know uh, you know the score I just want to try and do something slightly different if I can do something different for you I will And uh, don't forget also to, uh, well, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ford driver. Cheers, fella. Um, yeah, don't forget, uh, if you want to find out what's going on, it is, this year is Ferryman's 30th birthday. Uh, they've been going 30 years, so there's going to be things going on between now and sort of March, April. Uh, maybe even further than that, but... Uh, if you want to find out what's going on with the company, um, a lot more of the boys now are actually posting up as well with pictures of their trucks and where they're going, where they've been, all that sort of thing. The social media side of it is starting to come together nicely now, um, which is really nice to see. So if you want to find out what's going on with uh, the social media side of things with Ferryman, then uh, go and check us out. We're uh, on all three platforms. That's uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. 
and uh, it's at Ferryman Limited on Instagram and Twitter and Ferryman Limited on Facebook. Go and check out the pages, go and give them a follow, go and give them a like and uh, find out what we're doing and how things are coming along over the next couple of months. And trust me, you are going to want to watch some of them. Uh, we got some nice things coming up. Uh, some things I'm not sure of, other things I do know of. So you'll want to keep an eye out. So uh, go check them out. I think the last time I looked, they were on about 840 odd followers, I think it was. Let's see if we can get them up to 1,000 before, I don't know, end of February maybe. So uh, yeah, go check them out. Don't give uh, the pages a follow and a like and everything else. And the, as I say, the social media side of it is picking up nicely now with the rest of the boys uh, sending pictures into Alice, who sorts out all the social media. And of course, not forgetting also, if you haven't followed me on social media, don't forget to give my pages a follow and a like as well. That's uh, at Jenko Trucker on Twitter, uh, Trucker Jenko on Facebook, and at Trucker Jenko on Instagram. Uh, so uh, go and check my pages out as well. Go and give them a follow, go and give them a like. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Right, what have we got? We have got now 28 minutes, 12 miles uh, to get to uh, the place I'm going to, uh, which you've been with me into, into with me quite a few times now. So I probably won't take you in, but I might. You never know. See how I feel when I get there. Um, but failing that, I will uh, give you a shout back when I'm on my way to my backload, which is in Blackburn somewhere. I haven't had a good look yet, but it's in Blackburn, and that's for a load for Chepstow for tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a load for, uh, for the old in Chepstow. <laughs> you probably know what that means. Uh, dear. Right, okay. I'm going to crack on, I'm going to get over here, get this lot tipped, and I'll come back to you in a bit. Speak to you in a bit, guys. Toodles. I know the kids are not pretty. I'm always the one no one knows. Never found somebody like me. State of mind is always moving on. Cut to the chase and walk quickly. Don't need no push it from you. Maybe you'll find me quite scary. I don't care if so easy it at all Thinking about leaving the city Lately it's making me choke Don't give a damn if I'm silly I don't care if so easy it at all You can choose to win or lose I gave you the choice The world is black or white either oh. You either like me or you don't I'm here, and it took me a while to find it because the uh, it's only just been built. The look of it, and uh, uh, the sat nav wanted to take me uh, around the other side. It did take me around the other side where uh, oh, it's uh, still being built, still part of this frontier way thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, bit of a mate. Uh, I'm gonna go on to bay two now, just open the back doors. I was gonna put the camera outside, but then it decided to empty down with hail. So I thought, nope, not putting that out there now. So hopefully you might be able to see something out the window. Uh, but then again, you might not. I've only got on the bay two year anyway, so. Should be okay. Watching fence on my left. There we go. The driver next to me looks like he's bored silly, which probably means he's been here a while. 
I was the same with these. I think it's tissue I'm picking up or something. Not 100% sure, but I'm sure I'll we'll find out in a bit. Just a little bit too much. There we go, that's better. Oop. That's on. Right. Leave a little gap. There we are. Oh, it's raining. Right, got to put the keys on now. Put them on the back doors so they can tip me. Oh, load me, I should say. Um, so yeah, let's get this loaded and crack on. See the big guys. Doodles. Morning all. Friday morning. <clears throat> I'm in uh, Stratum Services, I stopped here last night, uh, got here with about uh, 15 minutes to spare on a 10 hour drive, um, I've got plenty of time, uh, time is it now, it's just after 7 o'clock, I've been up since 6, last day of the working week and I'm going to be in Asda till half past 10 and I'm an hour away, <laughs> so yeah probably gonna get down there I'm not I know I'm not gonna get in early I'll try a chance my arm but uh, I very much doubt it um, so today at the moment consists of uh, just running down to Asda's tipping this out probably be done by about 11 o'clock I would think because um, I haven't got much on I've only got seven pallets on from and uh, find out what's happening from there then give him a ring Let's see what's going on <coughs> An interesting weekend coming up, but more about that again. And uh, yeah, been a strange all week this week. Uh, I'd say I've only sort of done a couple of clips every day with the with the vlogging, but you've seen what I've been doing. So we'll see how it comes out when I uh, when I get to edit it tonight, and uh, we'll go from there then. See what it's like if it's any good. I might keep doing it this way. If not, I'll just do it my normal way. Uh, a little bit chilly out there this morning. Uh, it was just over freezing when I got up, but it's up to two degrees now, so it is starting to warm up. So, uh, yeah, so just thought I'd say good morning, come in, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be on my way down now. And uh, I'll probably do a little time lapse leaving here. I'll speak to you before I get down to Chapstow. Let's finish this day off, is it? Or well, this week even. <laughs> right, catch you in a bit, guys. Doodles.
Hey guys, right, I'm on, well I'm in, <clears throat> came in at, uh, at the stop off the garage to get some gas, because I run out of gas from a little stove for coffee, and uh, I've been in here since about 25 to 9, it's now 25 past 9, and they told me to go on A, which is uh, down the bottom there, with one of theirs on, uh, and they said once, they, someone came out to me and said they were going to move it, and uh, I'd go on air, but no one's come out, so when the forklift drivers asked how many pallets I got on, so I've said seven. He said, oh, he said, go on the D. He said, I'll get them off you now. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Forklift driver. Stuck up by the side of me then as I'm coming round. <clears throat> I had um, someone actually contact me on uh, YouTube as well and saying with regards to my weight loss for this ab sale that for every pound I lose, he will donate ten pounds which I thought was really nice. Um, it's John something or other. I can't think of his second name now. I'll have to have a look. That's me. Um, there we are. Um, so yeah, I'll have a look. Uh, I'll give him another mention. But when I f weighed myself last week, um, I was 105 forward a bit. There we go, just told me to move forward a little bit. Uh, yeah, it was 105.9 kilos. Uh, so I'll weigh myself when I get back to the yard today and uh, we'll see how much I've lost this week, if any. <laughs> Hope so, because I've done a bit, I've been doing a bit of exercise. I've been walking in the evenings. I had a nice long walk on Saturday. I've cut down on my food. Uh, I'm still eating what I normally would, but just smaller portions. So fingers crossed that'll work. Um, so when I get back to the yard, um, what I'll do is I'll film that and I'll probably put that down by here somewhere now so you can actually see it um, for when I get onto the scales in work. So it was 105.9, so let's see what I am. <laughs> right, get this lot off, I'll catch it a bit. Toodles. Okay, done, 10 past 10. Just spoke in the office. Uh, dropping this trailer off at Katnick. Yep, and I shouldn't be parked here. Only two minutes. Time to go. Time to go, go, go. Right, yes, all done. And uh, tipped, got my paperwork. Waited long for my paperwork, then did it get tipped? The usual case in Asda's. Um, but yeah, uh, heading back, as I said, back up to Caffilly now, into Catnicks. Drop this trailer off, bobtail back to the yard. There's obviously something else to do this afternoon. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it's something down to uh, Mago or something like that. I'm sure you don't mind. It is what it is. But it's Friday and I'm back in Wales. So that's always a good thing. And that's flipping bright out there. Not a cloud in the sky. Flipping lovely, man. Not very often in the winter you get to put these on. Yeah, when I get back to the yard, I'll um, I'll jump on the scales. So say 
I think it was last Friday. Um, I jumped on the scales in work. It's obviously in kilos because it, uh, it weighs everything, but it's, it is accurate. So um, just convert that then to stone or pounds or whatever else. Um, but I will look to see, and it was, I think it was John Jackson. I think that was the name. So if it was John Jackson, thank you, mate. I will double check and I will let you know. But he has pledged for every pound I lose, he will pay, he will um, put 10 pound into the, well, 10 pound for every pound I lose uh, into the, um, I can't think, my head's gone. <sighs> and donate the, you no know, to the charity. There we are. <laughs> Oh dear, dear, dear. So I'd be interested to see if I have lost anything this week. See, I haven't stopped eating what I normally eat. Um, I'm just having less of it and I'm not snacking. Um, I think all week I've had, I got a uh, pack of Kit Kats in there, uh, double, you know, twin uh, bar ones. And I think I've had one of those all week. Um, I have been eating my yogurts, uh, but they are fat free. So that's all good. I have cut a full slab of, um, say slab, there's six of them, of uh, creme caramels. I haven't eaten those, so <clears throat> I know they're not, uh, but normally when I have those, there, I normally have two at a time, but I haven't had any this week, they're still in the fridge. So uh, yeah, it will be interesting to see if I have lost anything. And uh, it will be a good incentive now as well to lose more. Thank you to uh, Sir John. For, uh, for saying that he will donate £10 for every pound I lose. That's really nice. And we add up over a £1,000 now. I looked yesterday, I think we had £1,071. So, uh, still early days. Uh, we've still got till uh, the end of February. So, links in the description, guys. Click on that. Anything you can donate. Doesn't matter whether it's 50p a pound, £5. Every little bit of it goes towards 10 of us. So, thank you guys for those of you who have donated so far. It is uh, very, very much appreciated. And it's all for a good cause. Um, and for those of you who don't know, that haven't watched me before, um, I lost my sister on the 1st of December to, uh, to cancer. Uh, she was only 38, bless her. Um, she did have, started off as breast cancer. And uh, she was fighting that. The, uh, the actual uh, lump was reducing tumor was actually shrinking and she was all ready for a mastectomy in December and uh, yeah two weeks mum took her into hospital on uh, on the Tuesday um, she walked in within 24 hours she couldn't walk within two weeks she was gone gone to her brain so yeah that's how quick it happens um, or it can happen and that was the uh, got to be the, one of the hardest two weeks of my life. I mean, with my dad, I lost my dad four years ago. My dad was like that; he had a heart attack and he sleep overnight. But with my sister, it prolonged, and uh, yeah, it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice to watch it deteriorate. And uh, there are so many families out there that do the same thing. You know, they sit with their with their loved one, and uh, just hope and pray. Um, and that's all we did with Sam, it was hope and pray. And uh, she went peacefully, which is uh, one, you know, one nice thing about it. Not that there's anything nice about it, but she did go peacefully, so yes. But this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. And a big lump like me is gonna have sail down the side of a mountain. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing it for, for all the other families out there that have people that are suffering with cancer anything I can do I will so yeah let's get this done uh, let's get a nice amount raised as I say links in the description guys click on it anything you can 50p a pound five pound ten pound I know I've had a, I've had one uh, follower donate a hundred pound we've had Euro commercials donate a hundred pound thank you very much Euro commercials I don't think you watch my vlogs but <laughs> Euro commercials if you know anyone that works for Euro commercials in Cardiff they donated a hundred pound thank you guys it is, every bit of it goes towards the charity. So whatever you can do guys, it would be very, very much appreciated. Let's get over out the way of this car. Make sure I pass that lorry. There we go. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna crack on back up to Caffili now and uh, I will see you when I'm up there um, or if I'm, whatever I'm doing later on or the next thing you'll see is me going onto the scales for my weigh-in. <laughs> 
uh, my commercial way in. Oh dear. Right, I'll speak to you in a bit, guys. Toodles. Hello. Right, uh, this is going to be the last clip now. Um, on my way back up to Thermo Fisher, I've been back and forth most of the afternoon, bringing, picking things up, taking back to the yard ready for Monday. Uh, I'm going to Perth on Monday. So a nice little run in front of me on Monday. Um, I've been on the weighing scales, couldn't take the camera in, but I have taken a photo. Um, so I'll show that by here now. And last week I was 109.5 kilos, which is 17 stone 28 something. And this week I am 108.5. So basically I've lost two pound. So I'm now just a smidge over 17 stone. So 17.08 stone. So it's just literally more or less 17 stone now. So I'm well chuffed with that. I've lost two pound already this week. So whatever I'm doing is working. Uh, a couple of walks after work and uh, some nice foot long walks on the weekends. Uh, as I say, I'm uh, still eating what I normally eat, but just smaller portions of it. So it's obviously working. So it's good news. I'm really happy about that. So I've dropped down to 17 stone. So fingers crossed, next weekend, I might be a bit less. So, wee I'm really chuffed. I know two pounds not a lot, but it's a loss, not a gain. <laughs> uh, as long as I do it steadily. Like I say, if I can get down to about 16 and a half stone, uh, by the time the 28th arrives, I'll be more than happy. And obviously don't forget as well, if uh, we can't do it on the 28th because of COVID, uh, then we will be doing it at a later date. So don't worry about that, we will be doing it. But yeah, I'm really chuffed. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd come back to you, let you know that now as I'm going up to uh, Thermo for my last run. I can get this loaded, take it back to the yard, and that's me done then. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget, if you want to have a look to see what's up with Ferryman, what's happening. It's our 30th birthday this year. If you want to see what's going on there, uh, go and check them out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, Twitter and Instagram is at Ferryman Limited and Ferryman Limited on Facebook. And also you can check out my social media pages at Jenko Trucker on Twitter, at Trucker Jenko on Instagram and Trucker Jenko on Facebook. So go and give us a follow, go and give us a like. Um, the more followers, the better. And uh, Ferryman's followers are, are growing. Well, I think the last time I looked, it was about 849. So that's going up. It'd be nice to get the thousand mark. So if you want to see what's going on with Ferryman, go and check the pages out, go and give them a follow. Job done. So, uh, right, I'm going to be getting into Thermo Fisher now in a couple of minutes. So I'm going to bid you a very good afternoon. That's going to be me done for this week now on the vlog. But again, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, whatever you're doing, guys, be safe, be good. And I'll most definitely catch you in the next one. Toodles.